you guys, I'm Nick, aka the Rolling Nick's Games, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to install Forge in Minecraft 1.7.10. First off, you want to go to minecraftforge.net slash form slash doesn't matter because guess what? It's the first link in the description. Go down there, check that out, and once you're on this page, go to 1.7.10 latest. Scroll all the way over to installer. Click that. It's then going to take you off to AdFly. While we're waiting 10 seconds here, I'm going to say this. If you have any problems with AdFly, simply refresh the page a few times. See if you can get it working. If that doesn't work, you'll need to enable cookies on your browser. Nevertheless, once you wait 10 seconds, you need to click continue here. And guess what? You're not done waiting yet. You have to wait an additional 5 seconds right up here in the corner. However, once this 5 seconds is done, we're going to go ahead and click skip. And it is going to download a file. Now, we do need to keep, click keep. I promise it's safe. And uh, right there, 1.7.4... Uh, 1.7.10 forge downloaded and we can go ahead and minimize this for me It's on my desktop for you if we hit Windows key or not Windows key if we hit the Windows key We can go to here and then hit downloads and as you'll see bada bing bada boom It'll be right there if it's not on your desktop nevertheless for me It is on my desktop so I'm gonna right click on it open with Java TM platform SE binary and it will open up this awesome mod installer simply click install client and then ok And it will go through and install forge like a boss success Successfully installed. If it does not successfully install, it will uh, it will tell you what you need to do to fix that. Nevertheless, I'm gonna go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher, and I will meet you guys there. Once you've got the Minecraft launcher open, you need to go to the profile you want to play on. For me, that's gonna be Dead Buddha, and hit Edit Profile. Now you need to go to Use Version, Release 1.7.10. We don't want that. We want to scroll all the way down to the bottom and go to Release 1.7.10. Forge because we want to play Forge. Click Save Profile and then click Play. It will now launch up Forge and it's going to take a minute to launch up because it is the first run of Forge and, and when you do a first run of any mod, it's going to take a minute. But there you go, Mojang. And I do want to mention what it says at the top up here. This is a Forge beta currently. If that's not there, you have a stable version. If it says Warning Forge beta at the top, you do not have a stable version and you might have some issues installing it. Nevertheless, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give a thumbs up. Subscribe to see how to install many, many more awesome mods as well as Minecraft Let's Plays, Minecraft Updates. It's awesome. I do tons of Minecraft content on this channel. Also, I will be updating you guys as to when Forge mods come out so you can install those and get those ready to go. Nevertheless, I'm Nick's Games. Like this video if it helps. Sorry about Skype, and I am out. Peace. And here's some videos you guys probably want to go check out. On the left is what's new in Minecraft 1.7.10. Minecraft 1.7.10 is out, but what exactly happened? Like, why is it out? Like, what'd they do? Go check out that video to figure that out. And on the right is how to install texture packs in Minecraft 1.7.10. You've installed mods now, you can do that using the Forge Mod Loader, but what about texture packs? Go check out that video to see how. Anyway, guys, I'm Nick's Games. Hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'm out. Peace.